Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this tutorial, I will show you how to use the power select add-on. It's a great add-on. So let's define it. What can this add-on do? The, this add-on combines Blender's box select and the tweak selection modes as shown here. Also, with one kick, you can tweak an object or box select uh, multiple objects, then immediately, immediately move your section with just your mouse. When trying to select different objects at the same time, it's, it uh, also has other awesome features like double click to enter and exit edit mode, auto enable cage edit for modifier transparency select, it select quick group selection and creation, and much more. So, let's Get started to show you some great features for this add-on. First of, first of all, uh, if we try to add this cube, so just uh, hit the top key. Then I'm gonna be subdividing. Click on, click on this button. Let's subdivide it uh, for cats. I think it's uh, good enough. So let's just zoom in to show you some great features. First of all, we need to install it, edit, then go over here, preferences. Edit, then preferences, then preferences, install. Don't forget to the file where you have put the, the add-on, it's over here. Click to install it. I have installed it because I forgot to have this problem because uh, it's uh, pre-installed. I have installed it previously, so let's type power select in the search box over there, and uh, we have, and this is gonna be showing the to check mark the uh, sensei power select. It's by sensei. The link is in the description if you want to buy it. Is just uh, buy. $15 and it's great I don't help you to save your time without uh, uh, doing much more tasks special for selection uh, and this is uh, the panel description and history the modeling also location of the file author is brandersensei.com if you want to take uh, to check out version 3. Dot o, and this is just for the newest versions like 3.0 and uh, 3.1 to, to 3.6 version for, of Blender. And uh, here we have some basic uh, settings if you want to turn on some uh, basic features as shown here. Also double click and this is gonna be uh, shown. Uh, at the top of the PDV part editor, you don't need to enable some features, so just uh, close this panel. Go over here, just I'm gonna be clicking on this uh, little arrow in this circle because uh, it's over here. The add on means that the add on is working well, so click on it to activate it as shown here. And uh, some buttons will appear next uh, to the to the header of the 3D power editor, as shown here. So first of all, uh, let's begin with uh, how to tweak and to select uh, many different objects at the same time, and uh, uh, go in and go in to grab them and uh, to move them. Tweak box select and move multiple objects with just your mouse. Just uh, drag your mouse, drag your mouse cursor over these two objects like this, and hit G to move them. Also, you can do it for the some different objects like this. For example, select these three objects and grab them to the top, upper the also as shown here. So let's move to, to the second feature, which is to tweak multiple vertices, edges, faces, bones, and more without the G key. 
for sexy new smart mode combines tweak and drug select for ultimate tablet workflow for example I'm gonna be uh, trying this uh, feature for this cube and taking some vertices tweak multiple vertices for example just like this and we have this button uh, to tweak if you want to enable it in order to tweak it, let's tweak for example Ctrl Z Select it then This uh, lets you to move it without using the, the G key So on here for example, we want to move this Hit Y key to move this without using the G key just to it, click on to select the, that versus then you can move without using the G key. For example, for the loop, so let's see what you have over there. For this great feature, if you want to select, uh, just uh, set it to a loop as shown here. Then, if you want to select uh, this uh, loop of versus, just uh, Put your mouse cursor over uh, the, the loop that you want to select it, then double click and you can select this loop as shown here. Also, if you want to do it for this part over there, also for this part to select this loop. We have also this feature when uh, set it to fill as shown here. For example, let's select uh, just uh, hold on the left mouse button and uh, move on the different faces over different uh, faces for example like this shown here so let's double click let's uh, double click to to fill and to select this uh, this entire area over there which is containing all these faces as shown here Also, we have uh, another feature when you double click to edit any object it's a type including text also for example uh, clicking over uh, over face double clicking over face uh, will take you to select the entire object as shown here when holding the this cross for far away from the object and uh, hit and uh, double click it this is gonna be to uh, switch into object mode and also again select the object and uh, double click on it it uh, will take you to switch the edit mode as shown here the next feature is unique fill select feature uh, this is switched by just uh, double clicking to fill in an area as shown here so I will try again another method, for example, trying this area. Selecting hold the down the left mouse button and then moving over over all the faces you want to select at the same time. So if you want to fill and to select all this area, double click it. This is gonna be selecting all the area and saving time without uh, this will take a lot of time to select different faces. There is another great feature. You don't need to go upward over there and uh, clicking on the wireframe to switch the wireframe mode as shown here. Never uh, have to manually enter wireframe or enable transparency. Just if you want to make a selection again, just hold Alt as shown here and the jerk mouse, uh, the mouse cursor as shown here. And this is gonna be enabling transparency and uh, wireframe view at the same time and that's all for today uh, for explaining and uh, discussing power select add-on and its great add-on if you want to try it and use it and this will help you in selecting vertices and doing a great stuff 
you want to download it and buy it on Bladen Market, I will leave the link in the description of the video. Thanks for watching.